If you're a clothing brand owner, what I'm about to share with you are some very deep and profound concepts in behavioral economics and psychology that you can directly apply to your clothing brand to get better results and that you just won't really be able to find anywhere else online. I just personally like diving deep into the more nerdy stuff around this, like the psychology, the really interesting concepts that you just need to know as a clothing brand owner that allow you to see the clear blueprint of how all of this works so that you can navigate the space very clearly, almost like Neo in the matrix. You can see how everything works and you're just able to get amazing results effortlessly. So what I'm gonna introduce you to in this video is social signaling, conformity, and enclosed cognition. And if you're able to just understand these, it'll inform you deeply about why people wear what they wear, why people buy the clothing that they buy, and understanding this on a deep enough level, integrating it into your own clothing brand so that your clothing brand is triggering these ideas in your customers' brains that make them see the value of your brand is truly profound and will help you like crazy. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Apparel Success is sponsored by my buds over at Design Crowd. If you struggle with designs, I really recommend that you try them out. You post a project on Design Crowd. Designers from all around the world are gonna compete for your project. You choose the winner, then you get that design plus revisions. I've literally sold thousands of these designs on my website and I got them all made through Design Crowd. If you're interested, head over to designcrowd.com forward slash apparel to learn about the special offer that I have for you or just use the discount code apparel when you post a project on Design Crowd. So what I'm gonna do for you here is take you as deep as I possibly can into the motives for why people buy what they buy and what fuels people's buying decisions in the clothing brand space. So why am I wearing this specific t-shirt right now? Why am I wearing this K-Bud hat right now? Why are you wearing what you're wearing over there? And why have you bought the clothes that you buy? It may seem like it's just a random decision that you make that you don't put much thought into. But what drives us is actually much deeper than that, especially when it comes to clothing, because clothing is always reflected back on the self and it's basically an expression of who we are. And so this first concept that I wanna introduce you to is known as social signaling. Social signaling is the human desire to express our own personal, social, and cultural affiliations. And this doesn't just happen in the clothing that we wear. Like we do this on social media all the time with the things that we share on our Instagram, the thing that we share to our friends, what we find funny. This is an expression of yourself through these other things. And in clothing, this social signaling takes place by actually socially signaling our own personal affiliations through fashion choices, through our style, and through the things that we wear. So when I sat down to shoot this video, the first thought that I had was, why am I wearing this t-shirt right now? And the reason why is because this is a t-shirt from the screen printing facility that I've worked with for the past seven years. This is Astro Screen Printing out of Toronto. This is their own, I guess, fun clothing brand that they've made. And I wore this because in my mind, I'm thinking, well, I'm gonna try to socially signal to you that I'm in the clothing brand space, that I know what I'm talking about, that I've been doing this for a while. So I'm wearing my K-Bud hat for my own clothing brand so that you can see that, you know, that's who I am and what I represent over here and how I have the credibility that I have. That this t-shirt is from my screen printing facility that I work with. And so clearly I've gotten my hands dirty and networked and made relationships with people in this industry as well. Even though you would never really probably know that that would be my screen printing facility that I work with, internally, it just makes me feel better that I'm wearing something like this. Now, this is just a stupid small example here, but if you think that what people wear out to say the bar on a Friday night out, that they're not actually trying to dive deep into their own mating strategy to send social signals of a certain particular status or style that they're going after and trying to convey like, this is the type of guy that I am so that girls look at me and girls are dressing like, this is the type of girl that I am so that guys look at me in this particular way. It's absolutely 100% what's happening underneath the surface in any of the choices that we make in terms of what clothing we're wearing. Obviously there are exceptions to this, but most of the exceptions take place in non-social settings. Like if you're at home alone, watching movies on your couch, that's about the only place where most people would decide to put on a pair of sweatpants that they haven't washed in like two months and whatever t-shirt they can find in their closet because they're not trying to socially signal to anybody else to convey or express who they are. Now the major lesson in here for clothing brands that are trying to get serious results and not just learn about this stuff for the pure fascination and intellectual side of all this is that when you're running your own clothing brand, understanding the social signal that people will want to signal while wearing your clothing brand to other people 
is key. So I'll give you an example using my own clothing brand. I know that people who live in rural Canada really like to associate with being from rural Canada and they like to signal to other people within the world that they're true Canadians, that they're very authentic Canadians, that they speak the way that they do and that they talk the way that they do and they're very proud of that. And so when somebody wears a K-Bud hoodie that has a funny Canadian slang on it from a very specific area in rural Canada, what they're really trying to socially signal to the rest of the world through wearing our clothing is that they affiliate themselves with rural Canada. They are the real ones. They're from the country. They're from the small town. This is who they are and they want to be associated with that. And they're our clothing brand allows them to do that. We're enabling them to do that through wearing our hoodie around the campfire and meeting people that, that have never met them before. And they get to say, oh my God, where'd you get that hoodie? That's absolutely hilarious. I speak like that all the time. Oh yeah, well, I'm also from that area and people are able to connect on that level. And this leads perfectly into the next, even more profound concept here, which is conformity. Oftentimes people will wear what they wear simply just to fit in with societal norms and expectations. Like a lot of people, when you go out in public, you'll notice never really stray too far outside what's considered normal or socially acceptable. And they usually tend to wear pretty much the same things like jeans, a belt, maybe a dress shirt, a t-shirt. You never really see somebody wearing like something crazy out there. And that's because most people actually don't want that much attention on themselves. We think we want a lot of attention, but underneath the surface, we actually don't. And I think that that's because in a state of nature, the person who has the most attention is technically under the most amount of threat like to their life. So it's sort of this mechanism that's kind of wired into us to just sort of blend in with trends, blend in with what's societally normal and what's acceptable. And so if you're designing clothing for your own clothing brand, you want to be thinking about this in terms of conformity a lot of times. Like if you're if you're making a brand, you need to be different, you need to stand out and truly separate yourself from the crowd, but at the same time simultaneously not make it some weird thing where it's like a trend that people wouldn't really want to wear because they're going to be considered an outcast or doing something socially unacceptable. And I think that it's really important to note that I get that there are clothing brands out there that are all built on sort of being like antisocial or a bit different, like antisocial social club. But if you think about it, it's kind of like this big paradox where you think that you're going outside and being super different and expressing your own uniqueness when in reality they're selling millions and millions of dollars worth of clothing every year and that's actually what's trendy and what's cool and so you're actually just trying to fit in to the societal norms. And if you're liking this video so far, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. It really would mean a lot to me. The last concept that I wanna share with you, we're gonna go as deep as we possibly can here, which is enclosed cognition, which is the clothing that we wear doesn't only influence how others perceive us, but how we actually perceive ourselves. So the clothing that we wear actually influences our own mindset and performance. And there was this study in 2012 that I was reading about where these psychologists got participants to wear a lab coat, like that's associated with like a doctor's attire to do cognitive tasks or tasks that required focused attention. And what they found was that people that weren't wearing a lab coat scored much worse and performed worse than people who were wearing the lab coat because of the symbolic meaning of the lab coat itself, the professionalism and the expertise. So literally what we're wearing affects our cognitive abilities. And just intuitively from my own experience, I can resonate with this concept of how what you're wearing truly affects your own mindset and how you're feeling. I mean, there's certain clothes that give me more confidence than other clothes. If I go to a wedding and I'm in like a really dialed suit and I look really, really good, I tend to feel really good. I feel different. It almost opens up different faculties of my brain that I didn't have access to previously when I was, if I were to like show up to that same wedding in sweatpants or like a t-shirt and looking kind of like not as dressed up, not as put together. And what I want you to do with this information is ask yourself, how is the clothing that you're creating going to impact your customer in terms of how they feel about themselves? Is it gonna give them more confidence? Is it going to make them feel more cozy in certain environments? Like for my clothing brand, I'm not trying to really give people more confidence necessarily, but what I am trying to do is make them feel really comfortable with themselves and really cozy in particular environments, like sitting around a campfire, doing the things that are associated with my lifestyle of rural Canada. And yours may be different, but getting clear on that will really help you with design, how you're building the brand, how you're marketing your brand, and how you're making your customers feel. So just a quick recap here. Social signaling is how we express our personal, social, and cultural affiliations through the clothing that we wear, our fashion choices, and our style. Conformity is 
our tendency to want to wear things that are in line with social norms and expectations. And in clothed cognition is how the clothing that we wear doesn't only influence how others perceive us, but how we perceive ourselves. So understanding that this is all at play in terms of what we wear, the psychology that goes into it, the motivations of why we wear what we wear and why we buy what we buy is absolutely essential. And I hope that even if you just understood this on an intuitive level, it'll always be there when you go to design your clothing, when you're building out your brand, and when you're just trying to build your brand into something better. So I really hope that you enjoy it. I recorded a 100% free clothing brand course for anybody starting up a clothing brand right now. All you have to do to get access is go to freeclothingcourse.com and go through it at your own pace. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.